In this problem, we are interested in finding the minimum burial depth for water, water pipes to avoid freezing in winter. Let's say in this particular problem, in this particular problem, the surface temperature is given and the surface temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. And let's assume that it is going to remain constant for three months, okay? And we want to install a water pipeline below the soil to make sure that within three months, the water is not going to freeze within the pipe. And let's assume that initially, the temperature of the soil is 15 degrees Celsius. Let's say end of fall, it is 15 everywhere and winter starts at minus 10, it remains at minus 10 for three months, and we know the properties of soil, we know the thermal conductivity and diffusivity of the soil. I would like to know what should be the x distance that I should keep the soil, uh, I should keep the pipe away from the surface to avoid the freezing. Okay, so how are we going to solve this problem? So let's go back here, okay? Let's start with the assumptions. Thermal properties of soil, properties of soil, are constant. The second assumption is temperature of the soil, temperature of the soil is only influenced by, only influenced by the surface, surface temperature, surface conditions. So that means there is no generation, nothing else. It's only influenced by the surface condition. So now let's let's think about this analysis. So if we take a look at this geometry, so we are dealing with a large scale object. So we clearly know that this is not a lump capacitance problem. And you can see the soil goes indefinitely so it's going indefinitely into the x direction. So that means we can approximate this as a semi-infinite object. Semi-infinite object. Semi-infinite object. So, and now, which of these cases? We have three cases, which, which is this case? So we have surface temperature, which is given and which is constant. So this means this is case one. So we have a case one situation here. So if you go back to our uh, slides in case one, we have the surface temperature. You can actually tilt this around. So this becomes a case one situation and the solution is given here. So we are going to take this solution here. So this is the case one scenario and we have the solution here. So what I'm trying to find in here. So I'm trying to find the position that is going to allow me to prevent the freezing of water for three months. Okay, so the time scale is T is three months. X is unknown and I would like this temperature, the temperature of the water to be greater than or equal to, uh, greater than or equal to zero. So that means if I substitute these variables here, so we have zero is T of XT, which is the minimum temperature we can afford, minus T surface, T surface is minus 10 degrees Celsius, divided by T initial, initial temperature everywhere is in the soil is 15 degrees Celsius, minus minus 10 degrees Celsius. 
and this is equal to error function x over 2 alpha t in square root and now now so if I carry out this algebra here so I obtain 10 over 25 which is equal to 0 0.4 is equal to error function x over 2 alpha t so now I'm trying to find this term and what is the inverse error function that's going to give me 0 0.4 so I'm just going to go back here so I'm going to read this graph in here so what is the x value what is the what is the value inside the error function that's going to give me 0 0.4 so I need to read the x value that correspond to 0 0.4 and that's basically inside this error function so the inside the error function is 0 0.37 okay so that means 0 0.37 is equal to x times 2 alpha t in square root so alpha was given it was 0 0.15 10 to the minus 6 meters square per second t is 3 months 3 months so 3 3 months 30 days 24 hours 60 minutes 60 seconds so we have 7 times 7.8 10 to the 6 second so now i have t given alpha given only thing that is left is to find x and if you carry out the algebra you'll get 0 0.8 meter this is the minimum that we have to bury this pipe to make sure there is no freezing within three months